Well, it's that time of the day where Chris likes to take something apart, and we're going to go over now to Studio 2 to take a look and see what Chris is working on. It happens to be a Whelan product. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. I have here one of Whelan Engineering's M series of LED light heads. This happens to be known as the M6. I'm going to give you a bit of an inside look as to what's going on behind the front polycarbonate lens and how the diodes are actually working inside this housing. Start things off, I'm going to remove the back covers. This one here happens to be foamed on one side, adhesived on the other. And for your install, you'll actually flip this over, put it onto the gasket backing. The foam will then tuck against your body panel to help seal the back of the unit. Basically keeping grit and grime from getting on to the nice paint or polish behind this light head. I'm gonna also remove the rubber trim as well. Basically this again is a sealant to go on the body, helps protect the edges, seal everything all the way around the unit. On the back, you can see there's a centralized harness input and a series of screws holding this aluminum extrusion to the front lens. Gonna go ahead, remove those screws here quickly. And on the screws themselves, as I'm removing them, you may notice that the top has a bit of a green compound. It's actually a bit of a epoxy sealant to help the top of the screw head seal the hole that it sets into. Again, keeps grime, extra condensation, what have you, from getting into the light head potentially. I'm gonna leave these two screws here. I'll show you why in just a moment. So with the perimeter screws, six of them total removed, the LED and aluminum extrusion frees itself from the front lens. The front lens piece itself is actually multiple pieces that are put together on Whelan's assembly line. And when they come off, multiple pieces are infused into one unit. Basically, this helps the unit be stronger, more durable, and gives it a better seal all the way around. So inside, you have a polished reflector assembly, two linear diffusers, front cover with an optic that's going vertical, helps the light spread across the unit, and then the bottom black piece as well. So you have, again, inside diffusers, on the assembly line, they pop those into the reflector. Reflector goes down the belt, pop it into the black piece on the back here, goes further down. Front clear piece or colored lens piece goes on the front, goes through another secret system, everything's sealed up nice and tight when it comes off the line finally. This is really what is making your M6 LED head work for you. I'll remove this. It has a perimeter base gasket. It's molded to the classic shape of the M series light head. On this portion here, you can see that you have a series of diodes, a bottom row and a top row. Looks to be a total of 10 and 10 for a grand total of 20 in this M6 light head. In the center here, you have basically a point, we'll call it a star, where the wiring is soldered into the center of the board. I'll show you that on the back here. So again, the pigtails are inserted separately on an assembly line. They go down, go through, put them to the board, solder them on, and now your harness is basically one piece to your front operating board. The board itself, diodes, epoxy, special electronics that are honestly well beyond my understanding, but somehow you put it together, make things work, put power to this thing, and it is one potent LED light head for your application. There's two center screws here. 
Those are on the bottom as well, but if I remove them, it really doesn't do any good. When Whelan assembles the unit, this board goes onto this back aluminum extrusion. They apply an adhesive compound, so the board locks on, and then the two screws are put through to secure the two together while it seals and also for a bit of extra security. Because the unit, honestly, in the field, it gets warm, it gets cool, so the inside of it does heat up, does cool down. So now that the M6 is in a few different pieces in front of me, put it back together. I'm gonna start it a little different. Take my front lens piece here, the M6 contoured gasket. I'll realign this into the inner lip. There we go. We'll take the LED and aluminum heat sink component set, set this back on, realign the screws, and go ahead and put them back in, tighten everything back down. Take this little popped out guy, get him back in his home. Screws are reset. So now, nice and solid one piece light head. Take the rubber backing, harness routes through foam piece. I'm going to leave this intact just because really I'm not putting it on a body panel, so really won't do me any good. I'll take the pigtail wiring now. So there's a series of five wires. Lead wire, ground wire, flash pattern change, synchronization, and the violet here is a high-low so the unit can actually be reduced in its output intensity. So go ahead, tie the ground into an alligator clip here, lead into a positive alligator clip, and go ahead, light up the light head. So what's nice with these is that the lens being removable allows for you to change your lens cosmetic. So if you have a colored lens head or a clear lens and you wanna do a flip flop at some point, it's easy enough to do. But just keep in mind that because the diode is what produces the color, if you have a red head like this and then you wanted to put a green lens, a blue lens, what have you, over the front of this, it's gonna be kind of like crayons. You're not gonna get a true color. It won't shine through like a strobe or halogen light will. Take the scan lock, momentarily tap it to 12 volts. Changes the flash pattern. Really nice thing with Whelan's M series is they have dozens upon dozens of very trick, very unique, very attention grabbing patterns. So make sure that you play with the scan lock wire before you do your install and get everything finally wired and set up. That way you can go through, select the pattern that's gonna be best for you. Sync wire will allow multiple heads to be tied together around your vehicle so you can have simultaneous or alternating locked in flashing. And also, like I mentioned, the violet wire here, apply this to a 12 volt steady power source, reduces the unit's intensity. Remove it, back to full potency, apply it again, drops down as you can see. Go ahead, remove that. Remove that as well. One other 
little bit I'll leave you with, as you may have noticed it. Yellow dot on the back here is actually covering a small hole, yeah, hole that is drilled intentionally into the aluminum extrusion that's the heat sink on the back of the diode board. This is a breather, like we've talked about in some other videos. So it allows for air inside here to exhaust itself in temperature changes, warm to cold, cold to warm. So there you have it. Whelan's M6 LED Lighthead. It's a partner to the other M series, the 2s, the 4s, the 9s, the 7s. Great lights for perimeter, rear, front, any application. Thanks for spending some time with me here. Siren at Television, back to you, Stuart. Well, again, Chris, thanks very much for showing us that. And again, thanks for watching Siren at Television. I'm Stuart.